and uh, he'll provide music for dancing, so I hope you all stay and join us for that. At this time, I would like to turn the evening over to our Master of Ceremonies, our MC, J.D. Green. I like how Shelby did that without putting on reading glasses. As part of tonight's festivities, we would like to honor individuals from our racing community who have volunteered their times and efforts to support CARB and our racing community. Everyone enjoys the benefit of being honored, so let's keep our support by keeping the conversations down until all the awards are presented. The Central Auto Racing Boosters, CARB, was formed in 1952 with the purpose to promote interest in and understanding of the auto racing sport in Missouri and elsewhere among the general public. To induce cooperation between fans, car owners, drivers, track officials, and the general public. And to encourage better sportsmanship at the racetracks. In striving to meet its purpose, CARB has several events throughout a bowathon, a golf tournament, carb nights at the track, and this banquet, to name a few. Those events are made possible by the dedicated volunteers who donate their time and effort to each event. At this time, we'd like to say thank you to CARB, its officers, directors, and many volunteers. Take this banquet tonight, all for our benefit. It took months of planning from this team. When I call your name, Please stand and remain standing. The 2021 CARB Officers and Board of Directors, President Shelby Manthe, you can at least come out. Vice President Shauna Powell. Oh, she's already standing. Secretary Cindy Lane. Way at the back working. Treasurer Linda Howe. Membership Secretary, forever Membership Secretary, Bob Reber. Sergeant at Arms, Jeff Seiler. And Myron Powell. Where'd Jeff go? Oh, he's at the bar. Yeah, okay. Board of Director, Heather Reber. Board of Director, Sharon Reber. Board of Director, Debbie Hand. Board of Director Connie Stevenson. Board of Director Chelsea Ballou. Board of Director Stacy Klein. Board of Director Mary Marshall. Board of Director wherever he disappeared to, Rodney Hawkins. Oh, perfect timing, Rodney. Keep standing, guys. The 2021 CARB appointed positions and committee chair people are the awards banquet chairperson, Chelsea Blue, Blood Bank Chairman, Stacy Klein, Chaplain, Jeff Seiler, Clyde Ellis Race on Snake Saturday, Shauna and Myron Powell, Database Coordinator, Cindy Lane, Family Matters, Sharon Reber, Golf Tournament was Rodney Hawkins, the historian is Stacy Klein. And the newsletter is Cindy Lane and Stacy Klein. Let's give them a round of applause for what they do for us. Now we turn our attention to a special group of people whose efforts allow us to fulfill our passion, make it possible for us to experience racing throughout the season. These hardworking families put their money on the line each and every week so we can enjoy the sport. For that, all of us wish to say a sincere thank you. As I call your name, please come up I-35 Speedway, Mike and Kyle Johnson.
Valley Speedway, Dennis and Connie Shroud. And our newest track, Nevada Speedway, Jerry Davis. Okay, at this time, if we have any track officials, fire and safety crews, push buck, push butt, push truck operators, there's something in this Diet Coke, tow truck drivers, please stand. And I know there's some officials, so I know you don't. Come on, stand. They know who you are. All right, ready to get started with some of these trophies going out? All right, I-30 Speedway, we're going to start. Michael Taylor III. Nevada Speedway B Mod Champion Matt Rose. The easy name that I got from Nevada, and he's not even here. I 35 Speedway Sport Compact Champion Harold Robb Sr. Sport Compact Champion Sponsor Rob Motorsports. Sport Compact Champion Mechanic, Brandon Hartman. Come on up. Nevada Speedway Pure Stock Champion Tyler Lehman. Oh, he's not here either? Yeah, you guys can come up and grab it or take it afterwards. This is one of the dowdies. Valley Speedway E Mod Champion. Wait a minute, Valley Speedway EMA champion, Mike Ryan. Come on up, rookie. Yeah, give him a round of applause. I-35 Speedway, Pure Stock Champion, Riley Yonts. Nevada Speedway, Street Stock Champion, Del Dowdy. Valley Speedway Dirt Demons Champion Eric Schmidt. <laughs> I 
I-35 Speedway, Midwest Limited Late Model Champion, Kerry Davis. Along with I-35 Speedway, Midwest Limited Late Model Champion sponsor, Osage Contractors, Dan and Ruth Ann Griggs. Nevada Speed Mini Stock Champion, Andreas. Nevada Speedway Mini Stock Champion Sponsor, Rick Horn Racing. Nevada Speedway Mini Stock Champion Sponsor, Homeville Vending. Valley Speedway, IMCA Northern Sport Mod Champion, Dan Charles. Valley Speedway, IMCA Northern Sport Mod Champion, Crewman, Winfred Baldwin. Valley Speedway, IMCA Northern Sport Mod Champion, Crewman, Jesse Johnson. And Valley Speedway, IMCA Northern Sport Mod Champion, Crewman, Butch Revis. Yeah, come on up. Danny's got friends. <laughs> Good job, Butch. I-35 Speedway, USRA Stock Car Champion, Michael Knight. Nevada Speedway Outlaw Four Cylinder Champion Scott Mofield. Valley Speedway IMCA Stars Mod Light Champion Dylan Rafferty. I-35 Speedway, USRA, B-Mod Champion, Tyler Cadwallader. Now you sit to the back, it's a long walk. Champion Crew Chief... The most sparkly person here tonight, Cassidy Pearl Johnson. You guys can come up and get your awards. Oh, and the USRA Modified Champion Pit Crew, Justice Fry.
Are you guys dancing over there? All right. That was our champions. Congratulations to all the champions. Now we move to the Rookie of the Year. Carb's definition, rookies must be a first-time driver ever in auto racing with no previous oval track points or money race experience, with the exception of novelty races such as the fun nights, the minimum age is required by track policy. Who finishes highest in points over other rookies with a minimum of seven races at a central auto racing booster supported track? Exception. First-time driver will continue to qualify as a rookie the following season if he or she has not competed in a total of more than five races in the previous season. I-35 Speedway. And I just want to add this real quick. This is awesome how many rookies I-35 Valley and Nevada had this year. This is, uh, we want to keep the sport growing. This is how we do it. I-35 Speedway, Sport Compact, Rookie of the Year, Keegan Russell. I-35 Speedway E-Mod Rookie of the Year, James Silkwood. And I'm sure they're going to keep all of you one at a time and then a group. I-35 Speedway Pure Stock Rookie of the Year, Nicholas Bonnet. I-35 Speedway USRA Stock Car Rookie of the Year, Maddie Waterbury. And I-35 Speedway, USRA B-Mod Rookie of the Year, Jason Withrow. Nevada Speedway, Stock Rookie of the Year, Tyler Lehman. Nevada Speedway Street Stock Rookie of the Year, Brandon Dowdy. You're going to leave this stage with that? Yeah, I don't care. I'll, I, I'll tell you what, anybody got a, got a Sharpie, I'll just write over one of these. You know what I said about you not needing readers? Okay. I got an extra pair. Nevada Speedway Outlaw, four-cylinder rookie of the year, Tim Stone.
Nevada Speedway Midwest Mod of the Year, Timmy Carter. Nevada Speedway Mini Moody Price. Valley Speedway. Valley Speedway Dirt Demons Rookie of the Year Roman Stump. I didn't see Cody walking up. I don't know how I missed that young man. Hey, I will tell you in 1991, NASCAR did the same thing to us with the mechanics wards. We all got on stage and had a different somebody else's. We traded backstage. Valley Speedway, IMCA Northern Sport Mod Rookie of the Year, Stanley Bowes. Drivers, most improved drivers, who shows distinct improvement through the point system in his or her driving from last year's performance, who has raced at least seven races in the previous year. I-35 Speedway and Valley Speedway, this is the award. Because you guys are new, next year you'll get most improved drivers. I-35 Speedway, most improved. Sport Compact Driver, Brett Holman. I-35 Speedway, E-Mod Most Improved Driver, Chris Deshaun. I-35 Speedway Pure Stock Most Improved Driver, Riley Yance is not here. I-35 Speedway Midwest Limited Late Model Most Improved Driver, Houston Johnson. I-35 Speedway, USRA Stock Car Most Improved Driver, Aaron Sauter. I-35 Speedway USRA B-Mod Most Improved Driver, Colin Pierce. I-35 Speedway USRA Modified Most Improved Driver, Houston Johnson. Valley Speedway, IMCA Northern Sport Mod, most improved driver, Dan Charles. I'm 
You know, one year I was at a banquet and Gene Claxton got most improved, so. Leave it to Dan Charles. He's forfeiting to Mr. Bowes. For those that always have a heart, now we know. Told you I'd get you. I think I owe you three or four. Probably. Bob Libby, unsung hero. This award is presented to someone who works behind the scenes at a racetrack to make each racing event a success. Nominees for this award will come from the owners of each Central Auto Racing Booster supported track. And it may be one nominee or several, if there are several. The officers and board of directors vote to determine who receives the award. I can tell you, I don't know of that ever happening. But I want to call up the owners to present this award. Nevada Speedway, Jerry Davis, come on up. Nevada Speedway, Bob Libby, unsung hero. Here Rose is Norma and Jerry Davis. I-35 Speedway, Mike and Kyle Johnson, please come up. The I-35 Speedway, Bob Libby, unsung hero, Roxanne Weller. Valley Speedway, Dennis and Connie Shroud, come on up. <laughs> the Valley Speedway, Bob, <laughs> unsung hero, Perry Cohen, Cowan. I checked all those last names except this. Congratulations, unsung heroes. Now we move into the special awards. These awards are nominated and voted on by the general membership. You've earned the recognition just by being nominated. We're going to start with the Distinguished Service Award. Distinguished Service Award is a race driver, owner, or mechanic who performs an act of service relating to the betterment of auto racing. 
These are the people that were nominated. Please stand. Drake Barker. Shelby Manthe. Oh, she is standing. Chris Waters. Larry Waters. Chad Freewalt. And Dan Lawson. All these nominees have performed an actor service leading to the betterment of auto racing. Various acts and service just proves you can find your own niche in this sport that we all love. Now let me tell you about the winner. She has been a constant in the car board for five years. She is always willing to help those around her, whether she is at the track, an event, or with friends. I love watching her cheer on those around her. She has been a great leader, even finding ways to still be connected through the pandemic. All of this makes up a reciprocant of the Distinguished Service Award, and it goes to Shelby Manthe. And just so you guys know, that wasn't what was written on my paper until I got here. Sportsman of the Year. A driver participating in active competition that shows skill in and devotion to racing with conduct becoming a sportsman, which involves honest rivalry and graceful acceptance of of the results. Nominated, please stand. Those nominated, Austin Charles. <laughs> Mickey Fleehart. Johnny Price. Patrick Royalty. And Jason Parks. Wow. What a great group of sportsmen just to be nominated for this award in itself because you've reflected to someone your love and passion for this sport. Give them all a round of applause, please. Now, you old guys can sit down. The winner is a great kid with the right attitude, Austin Charles. Miles better than his dad. Next award is the J.O. Pa Hartman Award. This is any person other than an active driver, owner, or mechanic who performs an act or service for the betterment of auto racing. Nominated. Please stand. John Lee. Raul Romero. Dennis Shroud, Nicole Lawson. Wow, we got a photographer, a series creator and promoter, a track owner, and a wife of a, of a media jockey. Quick story before most of, a, most of, we, of our times, but J.O. Pop, Pop Hart was a caretaker at Olympic Stadium, which is now a salvage yard off Interstate 435 and Truman Road. History. Years later, we still give this award in his name. This is who he was, because many of us don't know him. He raced in 1928. He lost both of his children in World War II. He lost his wife before he started working at Olympic Stadium. He experienced a flood when the Blue River flooded. They found him in his trailer floating down the Blue River, sitting on top of his table. So the owners, when they rebuilt the 
stadium, they built him an apartment inside the wall. He died on Thanksgiving Day, 1969. We honor him today by giving this award to one of these four deserving individuals. And that winner is Dennis Shroud. Dennis has supported this sport for many years as a racetrack owner. Recently, he's bought Pinewood Derby cars to give to the ki kids for free at Derby, build events hosted by CARB at, their build at his building in Grain Valley. He's all about bringing the younger, younger generation into our sport. Next up is our Virginia Nelson Achievement Award. This award will be presented to a current member of the Central Auto Racing Boosters who has unselfishly given of his or her time and energy to the current and past success of Central Auto Racing Boosters in the sport of auto racing. The recipient is a person who asks for nothing in return but to see the future of CARB and the sport of auto racing maintained in this area. Here are your nominees. Please stand. Debbie Hand. Sharon Reber. And John Willard. As mentioned by President Manthe, Virginia Nelson was one of the founders of this club. She served the racing community for many years as a scorer, retiring from that job after the 1988 racing season. She served this club for many years, and she passed in December 1991. This is one of the most coveted awards in this organization. To be nominated, once again, means you've earned someone's respect. The person receiving this award tonight has worked in the background many years. Providing for this organization in whatever role is necessary, starting in 1991 as hospitality chairperson to serving as the Family Matters chairperson the last two years, tonight we honor Sharon Reber with the Virginia Nelson Achievement Award. A lot of emotion up here. Very deserving. Congratulations, Sharon. Tom Carrick Family Award. Carrick Family, I saw Charlene was here. Come on up. This award is described as any family that through years of service to the racing community has displayed a devotion and love to auto racing. Continually promoting the sport of auto racing through participation in the sport, community service, or other means which displays auto racing as a family sport. In the words of Tom Carrick, racing is family. To qualify for this award, an individual or family must be CARB members. Here's the families that were nominated. Please stand. The Johnson family. <laughs> Only the old people stood up. You young people are part of the Johnson family, too. The Reber family. The Lawson family. The Hand and Knoll family. The Charles family. The Shrout family.
All these families have played a huge role in supporting our sport and supporting the auto, Central Auto Racing Boosters. Each family has found its place in our racing history as racers, as race supporters, as racetrack owners, as race car owners, and as series promoters. The important word here is family. We are all family brought together by a sport that infects our blood and becomes our passion. The family being honored tonight is totally engrossed in our sport. It all began with someone buying a race car and going to a track to compete, even getting upside down once. They got involved in this organization CARB in 2008 and not in the normal way most people do. You see, at the end of the 2007 season, opportunity presented itself, an opportunity to own a racetrack. Today, they offer a top-notch facility for racers to race at. Their boys are racers. They've been longtime supporters of this organization, serving in an official capacity along the way, and to this day continue to support this organization in many other ways. Tonight, let's honor the 2021 Tom Carrick Family Award recipients, the Johnson family. Bring all the Johnsons with you. Austin Johnson, Houston Johnson, Cassidy Johnson. All right. Congratulations to all the families. It This is a, the coolest sport. We're all family together. Give, you, give yourselves a round of applause for this. The Linda Lowe's Commitment Award. This award is presented to a Central Auto Racing Boosters member who has displayed com complete commitment to the club by volunteering and supporting the various functions throughout the year. The recipient of this award gives a huge amount of their life to the success of Central Auto Racing Boosters and regularly attends all car racing functions and tackles the duties no one else volunteers to complete. This award, this award will be nominated by the general membership. The winner is determined by a majority vote of the board of directors and officers of those nominated. Again, if you were nominated, please stand. Chelsea Ballou. Myron Powell. Oh, he's standing back there. <laughs> Stacy Klein and Cindy Lane. Quick note about Linda. She was a longtime coordinator in Central Auto Racing Boosters, died unexpectedly December 15, 1999. In death, we realized how much we missed her and her cheerful attitude. She was always a hard worker was always a supporter of racing, and she's one of the unsung heroines, a person many did not know because the limelight was not for her. All you have to do is stand back and watch the nominees for this award and their continuing the attitude Linda brought to this organization. The award recipient tonight exemplifies Linda's commitment or the Linda Rose Commitment Award, a longtime CARB member who is currently one of our Sergeant at Arms and the co-chair of the Kids Club. Myron can be found at events around the area, including car shows and the racetracks. Myron has co-chaired the Snake Saturday Parade for CARB, earning himself a board of director position with Northland Festivals just this past month. Along with his wife, Shauna, they have led the float team to much success. Myron gives selflessly to CARB and the betterment of circle track, uh, uh, circle track racing. Let's honor Myron Powell.
the Tom Wilson Media Person of the Year Award. This award is presented to a local, regional, or national person for their constant contribution to the betterment and promotion of circle track racing and its members, and who continuously promotes racing in the Kansas City area in a positive and informative way. The general membership shall nominate and vote on this award. On October 29, 2003, the phone call was received at 6 a 6.15 a.m. We had lost Tom Wilson. Tom was special to the Kansas City racing community. He was born with racing in his blood. You see, he competed as a driver before moving on to flagging and then announcing and race promotion. He had been a track announcer at Lakeside Speedway, I-70 Speedway, and at the time was the current announcer at Central Missouri Speedway. Tom was one of, probably one of the first to start making the press release a part of every racetrack he worked at. Those nominated, Lisa Burlington. <laughs> Steve Cochran. Mike Kraft. <laughs> Waving to himself. Justin Lawson. Kenny South and Ray Cunningham. The person to be honored with this award tonight selflessly donates his time to promote local racing. You can find him at various local tracks filming the action. He even hosts his own local racing roundup show with special guests such as track owners, drivers, and sponsors. He has also donated a ton of time and energy into helping carb film our banquets, and interviewing our drivers at World of Wills. He's been doing this for many, many years and is now in the process of mentoring the younger generation. Tonight, we honor Mike Kraft. Uh, you know, I'd like to take credit for all this. Uh, it started out, I think, you know, I think I just wanted to get into races free. <laughs> Is how, how it all started out. And of course, it goes back to Bob Libby. Bob and I used to race radio control cars together. And um, as you'll recall, back Jennifer Jo Cobb had a racing show on Metro Sports yep. and went out to Lakeside one night and Metro was filming in the pits with uh, Danny and Tom Charles. It was Father's Day. And I went down to see what was going on and I asked Bob, I said, are they gonna do this every week? Oh no, he said, it's just a special Father's Day thing. <laughs> and I said, well, do you think they'd be interested in some video? Cause I had gotten a, a camera for um, retirement. I just retired. And he says, well, I'll talk to him. He calls me back at four o'clock the next Friday, four o'clock. The races are at seven, and he says, I talked to a Mike, and they said, if you want to come out and shoot some video, come on out. <laughs> Three hours. <laughs> so anyway, I went out, and I think that lasted for two years, and then I did some writing for um, a sports deal, and uh, uh, one of the producers over at Metro said, Mike, have you ever thought about YouTube? And I said, no, but I can try it. Well, here's a guy that bought his wife a computer at, Gomo, at G uh, Kmart. <laughs> Remember the old blue light dot com? Anybody? I mean, it, it was so slow, it was horrible. <laughs> I mean, really bad. Now I've got fiber optic, and it's so fast you can't hardly believe it. But anyway, it's been a great ride, and one thing I would really wanted to say, I'm getting kind of long. I wanted to thank Miss Mary Devlin for helping me out. She's been my second. and. Uh, really does a lot of work and uh, I couldn't do some of it especially this last summer without her I'm not getting any younger but anyway thanks everybody because oh I also want to honor all the other people that are in media work uh, Justin and I Lawson like to call this the local racing media or whatever because we're all do it out of pocket so to speak 
and you know no money made on the side lisa you know what i'm talking about but uh, anyway thanks it belongs to all of them as myself it's been seven years lisa you've dominated this for a long time girl <laughs> but i finally got one again and also uh, one other thing i wanted to say is i wanted to take my name out of nominations because this is my fourth one and i think that's enough <laughs> i appreciate it it's nice to be nominated but man, there's so many people out there that need it, and four of them is surely enough. But anyway, thank you all. Thank you, Mike. And I know about that Bob Libby thing. He called me at 10.30 one night and said, hey, can you be my best man at 5.30 tomorrow? Meet at this place. And I forgot to ask what I was supposed to wear, and I asked Diana, what do you think I should wear? Well, but it's Bob. He'll just wear jeans. So I show up in jeans and blue shirt. Bob's dressed to the hilt. All right. Congratulations, Mike. Judd Larson Memorial Award. This is awarded to a Kansas City driver residing within a 100-mile radius from Kansas City, Missouri City Hall who has the highest points for his performance at a track other than a local supported track. First, a little about Judd Larson. Judd Larson was a hero in Kansas City. He was a regular contender at Olympic Stadium. He was a colorful character from the days when few drivers survived to retire, including Judd. He was a regular at the Indianapolis 500 and was the 1956 Sil Silver Crown Champion. Drivers that were in the running, please stand. Austin Charles. Bobby Lane, Chris Parkinson, Xavier Doney, and Chris Klein. Now, they sent me a file that says, see Xavier's write-up. Come on up, Xavier. You're the winner of the Judd Larson Award, but let me start reading this. And he might have a future in uh, media if he wrote this. Flying onto the sprint car scene in 2020 with a limited showing of five events with the Lucas Oil Power Eye Wingless Auto Racing Sprint League. Xavier Doni of Odessa, Missouri would use this past racing season as a launching pad, solidifying himself as a notable name among the Midwest. Doni would not only finish runner-up in the overall Season standings gaining the title of Lucas Oil Power Eye War Sprint League Rookie of the Year honors in 2021. The X-Man, Doney, sporting the Doney Lawson Racing Design Source Flooring, Mohawk Engineering Floors, DRC Chassis, Kistler 410 Racing Engine number 74, would notch 17 feature wins within Power Eye War Racing, placing inside the top 10 on 16 occasions, earning 10 top five placements, Xavier would represent himself well, posting five runner-up finishes, claiming a remarkable 530-point advantage in the Rookie of the Year campaign. Xavier would be in the thick of the overall standings championship by only finishing a mere 90 points behind the eventual champion, Mario Clauser. Leading the Power Eye War Sprint League with an astonishing 5.35 average finish, the 15-year-old Doney would earn six heat race wins at Lake Ozark Speedway Lucas Oil Speedway and Spoon River Speedway, grabbing a solo high point qualifier awards at Lake Ozark Speedway and earning the event high point award on the final night of the Hockett McMillan Memorial at Lucas Oil Speedway. Proving talent well beyond his years, Xavier Doney proved to be a threat to win in every event while showing that the sport is alive and well in a youthful manner. Moving forward, Doney should certainly be exciting to watch as he continues to climb through the ranks of the talented open wheel competitors within the Lucas Oil Power Eye Wingless Auto Racing Sprint League. Congratulations, Xavier. All right. This is a new award. Kind of dreaded the day that we would be giving it away. In 2013, we lost Clyde Ellis. 
Just a few months ago, we lost the patriarch of this club and Joan Ellis. Both of these individuals refused to allow this organization to have an award in their name while they were alive. As it turns out, our history pointed that a behind the scenes movement had occurred in 2008 to create an award in, this na in their name. It was voted on by the general membership at the November 2021 general membership meeting to approve this award. To qualify for this award, a written nomination must be submitted to the officers and board of directors of the Central Auto Racing Boosters. The board and officers will review the nominations received and a two-thirds majority vote of this group will determine whether the award is to be presented to any of the nominees. This award is not intended to be given every year. A person can only win this award one time. To qualify this, for this award, a person must have held or been appointed to as an officer, board of director, chairman of the committee, and the central auto racing boosters for a minimum of 10 years accumulatively. This couple has been hard at work in the racing community and the central auto racing boosters for 38 plus years. That's devotion. They can be found at numerous local racing tracks during the racing season. They will do whatever it takes to support our sport. The couple are folks who have a heart for racing, someone we can count on to be here early and one of the last ones to leave. How'd they get started in racing? First, he worked for Butch Smelter's fire crew. Getting volunteered through longtime car board of director Chet Ames, Butch was a short, a fireman one night at Lakeside Speedway and 92nd and Leavenworth Road and asked this inductee to help. Then, due to another vacancy, Lakeside Speedway was short a scale man one night, and Al Burke Sr., Linda Howe's dad, asked the inductee if he would work the scales for them. Should we say the rest is history? Many of us have watched him grow in the sport from working on the fire crew at I-70 and Lakeside Speedways to his current role at I-35 Speedway. However, that's not all this couple has done since 1983. They have been an active supporting member of the Central Auto Racing Boosters. In 1983, he served on the Board of Directors. The next two years, he was the Blood Bank Chairman. And since 1986, he has been the Membership Secretary. 35 years, he's held the position as Membership Secretary. 35 annual elections. 35 years in this one position. Bob and Sharon Reber. Look out at the crowd, Bob. Actually, I guess the board's given two awards tonight. This person served as a Central Auto Racing Boosters board member in 1991 and 2001. She was vice president in 1992, president in 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 2000. In 2004, she was elected as a CARB treasurer for eight years. She was also in the Central Auto Auto Racing Boosters Hall of Fame Selection Committee for eight years plus. In 2012, she was the CARB Database Administrator. In 1995, she oversaw the beginning of the CARB Golf Tournament. She has also served on the committees for the CARB Color Book, the CARB 50-Year Book, 
audited the books many times, been involved with CARB nights, Snake Saturday events, won many CARB special awards, CARB life member. She has served as president. At one time, CARB had over a thousand members. It's because of her. Also, she was inducted into the Central Auto Racing Boosters Hall of Fame in 2013. And I'm sure there are other committees or events she's been involved in. But tonight, we honor Diana Green with the Joan and Clyde Ellis Award also. And let me tell you, she wasn't coming tonight. Shauna called me yesterday morning and said, you gotta get Diana to the banquet. And that's all I was told. All right, next up. This is an awesome award, the Woman of the Year. Sorry, Rodney, you don't qualify. This is one of the most touching awards given, Woman of the Year. Many times a man has had to put in words what his wife, mother, grandmother has meant to him. This again is one of those times from the words of her husband. This year's Woman of the Year was chosen for many reasons. Her record includes dedication, sacrifice, passion, competitive spirit, willingness to service and support family and friends in the sport. She has been a track employee, a CARB office holder, a wife, a mother, and a grandmother to champion racers. She is in her fifth decade and hasn't slowed down. She is always to the point, speaks her mind. One of the most misunderstood people, but boy, does she show her love and compassion for all. You see, she started this private award after her crew gave her a plaque in 1984 when we won a championship. That read, for the love, sacrifice, and moral support she has displayed our team, declares her to be a champion wife. She realized others deserve to be recognized for their role as supporters of racers. And so year after year, she watched and looked for just the right one to be recognized, always finding very deserving special people. She turned over the duties a few years ago because we weren't racing at carb-supported tracks. That job remains anonymous to keep the selections pure and ensure no one really knows who selects the recipient. This year's selection is very deserving, never thought she would be considered, but he would not have had a career without her. The winner, Woman of the Year, Dee Dee Charles. Dee Dee, you got to say something, young lady. I'm gonna kill Tom. <laughs> they sent me this yesterday, and I'm gonna be honest. You deserve this more than anybody. I loved his write-up, and it was a great job, Tom. You did great keeping it from her. <laughs> and talk about that passion. 
and being misunderstood, we go back, don't we? <laughs> About everybody in this room. <laughs> well, everybody in this room. Here, yeah. say something. Thank you. That's good. All right, we still got something for Lisa? That's all. Yeah, um, yeah let's see. That's all the Lord. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You want to take it? Sure. Yeah. Any twists from everybody here? Yeah. You stepping over? Hold on. Watch out, Bob. I'll step over. One more between us. Okay, everybody, I'd like to um, ask Lisa Burlington to join me on stage real quick, please. Um, tonight's a very special night um, for one of our photographers, Lisa, here. Um, we know it's all her birthday, and um, we wanted to give you a little gift. You, um, you could have been doing many more things tonight than coming to our banquet, and um, we, we really appreciate you and everything you do for CARB and uh, me personally. All right, everybody, the officer and board of directors of CARB would again like to thank everybody for attending tonight's banquet. Um, we hope you enjoyed yourselves, and please remember we still have the raffle going. Um, we're going to keep that open for about another 30 minutes, and uh, then we're going to start drawing names. I have one more award, and um, let me just say, when I was growing up and when I was growing up and when my parents were involved in CARB, um, the faces that stand out to me, Diana, Mike Johnson, um, just JD Green, um, I have a, an award for you because I really appreciate you being our guest MC tonight. Okay, so we'll let the raffle go off until 8.45, and we'll start calling numbers for the silent auction, the raffle, and the 50-50. Um, I'm going to turn it over to uh, DJ Rodney. Um, he's going to start playing some music for everybody. Um, I hope you stay around and enjoy some dancing and uh, social.